Hello darlings and welcome to Old Lady Bangers. My name is Michelle and I'm here to experience some cool music. I consume a lot of media. I'm an, a huge movie buff. I watch a ton of TV. I'm an avid reader. But for some reason I missed out on a ton of the most recent music. Like for the last like 5-10 years it feels like. I find myself driving in my car listening to the same stuff from my childhood over and over again from my phone and they're great songs. But I'm, I know I'm missing out on some cool stuff. So I'm going to dive into some music that I wouldn't normally listen to or be exposed to maybe on the radio. There will probably be some dorky, hey fellow kids vibes here, but you know, whatever. I got 49 years of experience of being awkward and uncool, so bring on your comments about how out of it I am. It's fine. I've always been a dork and I am a dork now and the difference is that I just don't care. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the relaxation that comes with age, I guess, yeah. So hopefully as my music education goes on, we will have, um, as Kendall Roy says, all bangers all the time. Uh, but it's entirely possible that I won't be into it. And if that happens, I'll share that with you guys too. And you can suggest something else, maybe by the same artist or in the same vein that I might like better. And then to get started, I'm going to go with the Billboard Top 100, focusing on the top 10 at any given time. But if those don't change, then we'll just keep going down the, down the line. Uh, but that's a lot of songs. So... Um, I know that's not always the, the best indicator of what the best music really is, and that's okay. I definitely want to hear suggestions from you guys, And um, but I was, I was looking through it, and I, I didn't know any of the songs. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, it's so weird to me that I wouldn't know, uh, you know, 90% of the songs on the Billboard Top 100, because that was the soundtrack of my life when I was a kid. Um, but this, in this case... The number nine song right now is Antihero by Taylor Swift. And I do know this song a little bit. I've heard it on the radio, um, but I've never actually really sit and sit down, sat down and listened to like what the verses are actually saying um, and like what the song is really about. I've never seen the videos either. So yeah. Um, but of course I know a bunch of Taylor Swift songs. I've been listening to her for years and she's been around for years. That's been interesting kind of progression to see her, um, go from kind of this like little teeny bopper and be somewhat country. I think she started kind of as country and has just, you know, taken over <laughs> the, the pop music. Uh, so not a new artist, but in the interest of doing like the complete Billboard Top 10 at any given time, I figured you guys wouldn't mind if I did it, a, a song that I know. So let's pop in and see what this one is all about. Light. And works the graveyard shift all of the people. I've ghosted stand there in the room. I should not be left to my own <laughs> devices. They come with prices and vices. I end up in crisis. I wake up screaming from dreaming. One day I'll watch as you're leaving. Cause you got tired of my scheming. <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me At tea time Everybody agrees I'll stare directly at the sun But oh. never in the mirror It must be exhausting Always rooting I have to stop there I hate seeing artists trash guitars Like, don't if you if you don't need that guitar Give it to some kid who wants to learn to play guitar Like, somebody spent so much time making that beautiful instrument and you're going to smash it. But, you know, it's fine. I understand it's for the video and for the story and the, the two um, the two tailors that we're seeing here. I'm, I'm definitely uh, getting the gist of it. And I'm liking the, like, 70s. Um, it feels very um, Stranger Things. It's that 70s vibe. So, yeah, cool. Let's get back to it. For the end to hero. Dream. 
a tiny little fork. Oh. oh dear. Is that the guy from uh, the search party? He's laughing up at us from hell. What? What does it say? It's the worst. But who got the beach house? He's having it turned into a f***ing cat sanctuary. What? Cats don't even like the beach. <laughs> what about the rest cats of the assets? Cats don't even like the I beach. I flew all the way here from Ibiza! To my children I leave. Thirteen cents. No! Wait, 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 you guys. There's probably a secret encoded message that means something else. Yeah, 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 that's what mom would always do. P.S. There's no secret encoded message that means something else. Love, Love Taylor. Taylor. Hi. Great, well, good job, Chad. You finally pushed it too far. What are you implying by that? I think she's implying that you haven't hesitated to trade on mom's name. Excuse me? Um, and do you not remember your book, Growing Up Swift? And your stupid podcast, <laughs> Life Comes At You Swiftly, which I'm pretty sure you record. This is very funny. <laughs> A little interlude in the middle of the song. <laughs> it's hilarious. Recording for on your phone right now, Chad. Come on. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you go cry about it at the country club that you name drop mom to get into, Preston? And Kimber, you're literally wearing her clothes right now. No, I'm not. That's from the Fearless Tour 2009. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We were very, very close. I miss her. They were so close. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think she killed her. You've gone too far! Okay, Kimber was the last one with her! She didn't fall off that balcony! She was pushed! No! It's me. I am the problem. It's me. It's me. I am the problem. It's me. It's me. I. Everybody agrees. Everybody agrees. <laughs> Oh, her boots are cool. She doesn't drink at all. Well, I hope Taylor Swift doesn't think of herself as a monster, though. <laughs> Although I do get the whole, I like the line that the whole, um, sometimes I feel like everybody is, a, everybody else is a sexy baby and I'm just like a monster coming towards your city. Like, I get that. I've never been like the, the sexy baby. Like, I've never been cool. I've never been hip as much as I wanted to be. So... Yeah, now I've kind of given up on <laughs> even trying, but yeah, hmm, I can relate. But yeah, no, that's a great, that's a great song. I really like the, um, I like the purple glittery moments of like breaking up the, open the egg. And then when she got shot with the arrow, she bled that purple glittery stuff. And then when she vomited, <laughs> like her, it's her blood purple glitter, like that would be kind of cool, but okay. Yeah, I think I have to, I definitely, that's definitely, that definitely speaks to me. Um, definitely going to download that. I'll be singing along with it uh, in the car. Like, do I like it on a basic level? Yeah, I did. Um, did I understand the message? Yeah, 100%. I just, I really hope that Taylor Swift doesn't think of herself as like a monster or, I don't know, maybe she's a, maybe she is a narcissist, but maybe she's coming, you know, like the whole message of like me, hi, it's me, I'm the problem. It's me. That's an important thing to realize if that's the problem in your life. Like, 
you probably want to try and deal with that a little bit if it is. So yeah, but then, you know, neither I haven't. So and here we are, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> don't need to go into that too much. But yeah, definitely I'm going to sing along to that in the car because that's a great song. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Hit the subscribe button to see more of my music reactions. And if you'd like to see my movie reactions, head on over to my movie channel. It's called Old Lady Reacts. Um, I'll put a link in the downstairs for you so you can find it easily. Please leave your comments and suggestions below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you about what you think I should be listening and to reacting to. Uh, I don't mind obscure stuff. Uh, as long as it's easy to find on, on YouTube, I, I can get into it. So yeah. I really hope that you'll join me in getting out of your comfort zone when it comes to the media you consume and support. You guys are awesome. I love you, darlings. Mwah.